So are you one of those people that struggles to use your planner both efficiently and effectively? Or maybe you're one of those people that has a planner and you've had planner after planner but you never, you know, seem to use it? If so, trust me, I've been there, done that. Hey you guys, my name is Ariane and welcome to Ariane Janae's World. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys five easy and actually realistic tips on how you can use your planner on a daily basis to be productive, efficient, and just have life go just a little bit smoother for you on a daily basis. And I'm not one of those weirdos that's gonna tell you, you have to schedule every single minute of your day because that's the only way you're gonna be successful. Your planner has to be color coded. I don't do that and I don't think everyone has to do that. And if you do that, that's absolutely awesome, but you also have to respect that everybody has different methods. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you my method. This is what I've developed since being in college and then post-grad life, like adjusting my planner to not just being classes and homework, like actually having like real world things to do. So whether you're someone that's in school now, preparing to go to school in a couple days, a couple weeks, or if you're someone that's post-grad and just trying to organize your life, I got you. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below so you can join the family. And leave a comment down below like as you're watching this video because I want to know what you guys think about these five, again, super easy and actually realistic tips on how you can make the most out of your planner. Like I said in the intro, I have had my fair share of planners. I am a planner girl. I personally like to plan my life. I think it helps me be accountable and helps me do what I want to do and what I need to do. Okay, tip number one, nice and easy. Find a planner that fits your personal needs and wants. Personally, I love daily planners. I think that is part of the reason why I didn't like have a mental breakdown in college because every single day I was able to figure out what it is I needed to do. I knew what time I needed to go here. I knew what time I had for lunch. I knew what time where I could do whatever I wanted. And I was also kind of able to plan for the future. So daily planners that have like hour breakdowns were my absolute favorite in college. Post-grad, I have had a planner that has the hour breakdown and I don't use it that much. Sometimes I do, but usually it's hard to use that planner because I have work and I use a notebook for work. So usually my days are pretty blank unless I have like an outside webinar or something for my podcast or YouTube going on. But for the most part, I don't use the hour by hour like schedule as much as I thought I would, but I do love it. I think people definitely should use it. I use it on the weekends. I don't use it Monday through Friday to be completely honest. And with the daily planners, like the ones that have the schedule line up layout whatever it's called and also lots of note space i am a note girl if something pops to my head i don't really like typing it in my notes app because that gets lost i have like 1500 notes but i like okay on tuesday i wrote something about the kardashians let me go back and see what i said about that or oh i had this really good youtube video idea back in june just scroll through june or flip through june and i can easily find my answer and let me know if you guys want me to do a detailed video on how to find the best planner for your needs and wants i did the same thing with my cousin for college and i've done it for years for myself so let me know if you guys want a specific video dedicated on how to find the perfect planner for you so tip number two is to plan for the week and then break it into daily chunks. So I normally do this on Sunday nights. Actually this week I did it on a Saturday night and I'll show you guys. I'm in between planners right now. I wanted to try this new planner that my mom got me for Christmas that one of our favorite local influencers created and I like it but I'm not sure if it work specifically for me like there's some things I really like but one thing I don't like is that it doesn't have note space and I'm a note girl like I was saying earlier so Saturday night I wrote down every single thing I needed to do this week and this week is a pretty light week like nothing too crazy um I have a lot to do for the podcast but again nothing really really crazy with this just take five to ten minutes to reflect on what you want to accomplish for that upcoming week and when you're reflecting just jot down everything that you need to do I like to separate mine personally with usually I do podcasts YouTube 
personal and then if there's a trip i'll do trip but normally i just leave it with podcast youtube and personal and if you're someone that has a youtube channel you could just do youtube and personal or if you don't have any type of side hustle like that you can just do personal or you could break it up like physical health spiritual things like that it just depends on what you have to do during the week because i don't know what you have to do during the week and so some days i might dedicate an entire day to focus on a certain category of tasks so for example tuesdays are normally my podcast days because my podcast release every single wednesday if you don't already know what it is i have a podcast about adulting graduating and grown go check it out but anyway usually i don't do anything for youtube on tuesday because tuesdays i'm like okay are my graphics good uh do i have my captions for this did i already upload the video to youtube and have it scheduled for tomorrow so that's normally what i do but some other times i mix and mingle my day so it's not a day specifically for this type of work it's anything it's just whatever i can knock out like for example today my day is like a hodgepodge of everything because i have a lot i want to get done before tomorrow which is monday so you don't have to do like certain days focused on certain tasks i don't think that's really necessary again unless you have something launching on a certain day then yeah it will make a little bit more sense to dedicate a certain day to that category of tasks okay tip number three well three <laughs> try to have three must do tasks that are necessary and realistic do not waste your time on unattainable tasks and I'm not saying that, oh, that goal or whatever is too big. That's not what I'm saying. But for example, I'm not going to put on my to-do list, finish reading book when I have a lot more in my book that I have to do. Like I'm reading a book right now. I have like 150 more pages. It's not realistic for me to put that on there. Could I do it? Yes. Will I actually do it? Probably not. That's me dedicating a couple hours and I kind of have other stuff I want to do. I just really don't want to spend my whole day reading. I wish I did, but I just don't really want to today. So you see what I'm saying? Like make sure your tasks are attainable. Don't waste your time and space in your planner writing things that you would love to do, but you're not going to do. You have to be realistic with yourself when you're like, actually trying to plan your day so the planner i'm using right now is this top three notebook and it's your top three daily priorities and this is the one that i wish had more notebook space literally each page is just task one two and three it leaves three six seven spaces for other tasks and then a little bit of notes i have very big handwriting so i just wish that the spread was split onto two different pages so i could have more note space but i love the concept of having your top three priorities and that's what i try to do every single day because i think once you kind of get over three you're kind of like not overworking yourself but it's not as realistic anymore and pretty much all of my planners that i've been using lately they all have top three like this i love this planner this is the christian planner top three action items lots of tasks this one has the schedule um and then oh, i love this planner that i had my senior year of college it had space for like your important tasks so i will put that up there it's not the same as the top three but still very very similar so yeah write your top three down and then after your top three, you can write other tasks that you need to do. And the major benefit of this is that it helps you determine what's important and necessary to accomplish and helps prevent you from feeling like you have too much to do. Like it makes your to-do list more attainable basically because the I have seven things on my to-do list I need to do, but these top three are priorities. I need to do this by doing this, I will have accomplished something and I'll be feeling good. And if I don't accomplish the other four things on my list, I'll be okay, I can push them to the next day. You know what I mean? And I know you're busy, trust me, so am I, but it's also really important for us to be happy and not be like regretful at the end of the day. So I think having your top three is honestly a really, really great idea. And I think when I go to bed tonight, I'm gonna be chill because I did what I needed to do. And I've already actually started knocking off some of my other tasks for today. So I'm telling you, the top three method is genius. And I think a lot of people actually use it, like a lot of, very productive people follow the top three method and I really like it personally too. Tip number four, leave your planner out. Do not put it away personally. I think that's very, very pointless. I know there are some people that wanna have a very clean space before they go to bed. They want their desk completely cleared off. Yeah, that's nice, but out of sight, out of mind. Your planner doesn't have to go in your bookshelf or drawer every single night because if you put your, if I were to put my planner in a bookshelf in my drawer every single day 
I would probably wake up and forget that I even had a plan for today like that would be an extra step for my day and I just don't want to add but me leaving my planner on my desk every morning usually it's open too reminds me oh these are the three things that I want to do as soon as I get out of my bed I can look down and be like okay need to do that I can knock that out before I go to work today so do not put your planner away leave it out and if it's if you have a big planner just find like a convenient space for that planner to go. Okay, tip number five, last but certainly not least, make your planner yours, make it your own. Customize your planner however you want. If you don't like a headline for something, cross it out and put what you want. I think that's something, like if you were to look through my planners, you would see I've crossed things out. If it doesn't have a to-do section, I'm writing my own to-do section. If it doesn't, whatever a planner is lacking, I make up for it with my own handwriting. And also with making your planner own, your own, I will also say making your productivity or planner methods your own like don't have to follow what i do and you don't have to follow what gurus in the productivity space do figure out what works best for you and then you do it that's literally what i did there's so many people that have these methods of doing this this and that and i say that does not work for me so i'm not gonna waste my time and my money doing something that's trendy and like just again doesn't make sense for me like i know bullet journals were like huge they probably are still huge but um I don't I personally didn't want a bullet journal I wanted something a little bit more like stylized and already set for me so yeah and also with making your plan your own I would also say be prepared that when you go through different phases of life or different when different things happen in your life you may require a different planner so like this planner that I had my this planner that I had my senior year was absolutely beautiful because it had the schedule. I knew exactly what I was doing every day, where I needed to be, but it would not work for me at work right now. So it's very, very sad. I'm holding on to it because I want to get it in the future, but um, it just wouldn't really make sense for me now. And then this Christian planner, and I want to do a whole video about planners. I don't want to talk too deep about it amazing planner amazing planner i really really like it and then right now i'm trying to use the top three to see if i like it or not but yeah see what works for you maybe you're someone that just needs a notebook and you can do the bullet journal method do what works best for you and don't let people pressure you into doing what they think you should do but all right you guys thank you so so much for watching i hope that these five tips were useful for you guys and that it'll help you make your days go maybe a little bit faster a little smoother and a little bit more efficient because we love operational excellence we talk about that at my job all the time but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this again be sure to leave a like leave a comment down below let me know like do you do this same methods as me or do you have different things because i, I want to know down below in the comments i'm always open to learning new things when it comes to best ways to be productive or efficient things like that so let me know down below in the comment box and again if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that lovely red subscribe button down below so i can join the family and check out some of my other videos about organization i'll have some at the very end of this video and some in the description box but i think i'm someone i take a lot of pride in my organizational abilities i spend a lot of time on this and if you guys want to see more content regarding organization or planners or things like that or just trying to live efficiently let me know and I can put some stuff together for you guys but again this was Ariane on Ariane Shanae's world and I will see you guys in my next video bye